Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Victories with 70 knockouts and 16 defeats by way of Panama City, the hands of stone, Across the ring with a record of 39 wins, including 30 knockouts and six defeats. Hailing out of Montevideo, Oscar the Golden Boy. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Move those feet! What should we see out of the Golden Boy tonight, Teddy? Well, I think his greatest strength is his body, his size. I mean, he's tall, he's rangy, he has a real good left jab. You know, use those assets. Stand on the outside, let everything start with the jab. Teddy, the expectation in a matchup like this, a power puncher versus power puncher, is that the fight's not going to last Come long. On, but what if it does? Then what? The guy with less power is going to win because he's a guy that has a reserve, a reserve in a place that he's ready to go to in case the power is not there. Good work defensively by Roberto Duran. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Very nice defensive guard there. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Good combination to the head. That's what I like to see. Nice defense. Good block by Roberto Duran. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. And now they're trading blows. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Roberto Duran's putting on a display of accuracy, and the punch numbers tell that story. Just move around. You gotta move your hands in there. Let's go. You got to pick up. Here we go. Round two is underway. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. De La Hoya is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Back to the body! Just knifing up with that uppercut by Oscar De La Hoya. Scores up top with a left. At this stage of a fight, Teddy, these very early moments, how much in your training career will you stress to a guy to try to go to the body? Very much, because it sets up things later on, and it takes away things that he's trying to do. You know, he's trying to move his upper body. You go downstairs, takes a lot of that away. Targeting that head with the combination punching. Halfway through this round here. A stinging uppercut by Roberto Duran. 
Big left hand from De La Hoya. De La Hoya has got a cut just under his eye, and that's actually good news for him. I know it looks ugly, but that's better than being above the eye. A very crisp combination by Roberto Duran. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. De La Hoya's doing well here with that two-punch combination. is upon us and if the next round holds up like that we're going to be in for a real treat no we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense you understand me okay you're doing good you're doing good keep it up all right very good very good Number three is underway. Combination to the head. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Do that again. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Roberto Durant's hurt by that. What a big shot. He just fought the other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. One, two. Roberto Durant showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. Up top with the right hand. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Duran's got speed, no doubt about it. You can see his ability to land combinations with ease. Yeah, but what you want to see now is how effective he is down the road with that speed. Oh, what a left hand. with those double uppercuts by Roberto Duran. Keep moving, keep moving. Off to the... Did you see that? And for the second time tonight, he goes down. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Throw more punches to the body. Stay away from the power, okay? Keep circling away from that power. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot going. Now listen. Start of round number four, but an interesting fight so far. 
De La Hoya is losing this fight one round to two. But keep in mind, the one round that he won, he scored a knockdown. Well, in golf, they say you have to have a short memory. In boxing, sometimes a long memory. He must remember he can hurt him. He can get back in this. Off the target by Oscar De La Hoya. De La Hoya's opponent's probably looking at him right now saying, wow, you're not changing anything up. You know, he got to him moments ago. Now, he's got the same style that he's looking at again. Yeah, but he got to him moments ago. Got to him. One time. I think right now it's too early to all of a sudden throw everything out the window. But look for an adjustment if things don't change. If he can't get away from those punches, if he keeps having problems, he gets stunned again. Then you might have to look for a change. You might have to make a change if you're going to survive. Damo Hoya's failure to get away from his opponent's right hand is really the difference in this fight. It is. He continues to get hit with the same punch. Needs to slip to the left. Solid straight right hand. Nice work on the combination by Roberto Duran. And he ties up on the inside. Inside! Inside! Dave Hoya's right hand scores well. Now he's putting his punches together. The combination upstairs. Turning fire, well done by Roberto Duran. Not one, but two. Good work with the jab up top. Listen to me. I need you to keep busy. I need more than one punch now. This fight is even. So I need to see more than one punch out. Best. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Roberto Duran showing that he was well-trained, utilizing the uppercut when he's chest-to-chest, -chest, shoulder to shoulder against his opponent here. Oh, you have to recognize situations, and he understands on the inside that's exactly what you should be doing. When your opponent has his gloves up, there's an opening to split the guard, especially when he's leaning forward, and he's leaning forward just a little bit. Overhand right can be so effective. And now he's targeting upstairs. That's a huge shot, that left hand from Duran. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Roberto Duran. Hoya's punch is far off the target. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Not able to land the headshot. Oscar De La Hoya's been hurt by that. Solid. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. So Oscar goes down, and now he's got to continue on after beating the count. Hey, we know he's the golden boy. We know that he has great size, great ability. Now we're going to find out what else he is.
round comes to an end. We saw the knockdown there in that round. A little bit of a momentum gainer. Yeah, obviously it gives you confidence, but you know what? It can also be a momentum killer, believe it or not. I, How so? Joe, I've had guys where the worst thing that happened to them in the fight was when they scored the knockdown because they thought it was just going to keep happening. And they thought about only the punch they landed, not how they set it up. So they got away from the game plan. You're good. You're okay. Read for me. Now listen. You threw a white punch and he caught you. Right now? Sixth round now underway. Let's see who can really come on here in the second half of this fight. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counterpart. Oscar De La Hoya, big, big shot he just scored with. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. To the head he goes with a left hand. Piercing jab. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. De La Hoya's combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. There's a straight right hand. De La Hoya is hoping to recover right here. The way to do it, he feels to tie up. Yeah, it's not about Montuism right now. It's about getting past this point, surviving, and then having a chance later on to get back to win the fight. De La Hoya is proving to be elusive. Roberto Duran is having his way on the inside, Teddy. This is really paying off for him in these middle rounds. Yeah, well, he's got to be happy with what his opponent's doing. Standing right there, as you said, as you suggested, standing right in the place he's most comfortable. There is hardly a doubt as to what this result will be. I know anything can happen, but all that's happened all night long is one guy punishing the other. Well, it looks like Kobe Bryant on a good night when that basket is 20 feet big. I mean, he just can't miss. Keep it up. This guy never felt a beat like this. Keep the pressure on. No way you need to be. I don't want to see you on the outside with him, okay? This fight is not in the center of the ring. Take it to the ropes. Dale Hoya is searching for something different as this round starts here. He's been down numerous times tonight, including the last round. Oh, and there's a big right hand from the Golden Boy. And now another left. Good flush shot upstairs. Hoya's got to figure out a way to do something different here. I mean, I know he's committed to being a counter puncher, but right now he's giving rounds away. Yeah, he is because he's waiting for things to happen that are not happening. You know, he's he's laying back, he's waiting for the guy to win. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. That was a big shot that Florida, and it's a big shot that may end him right yeah. here. That looked like the great pitch of Great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. The fight is over. Oscar De La Hoya is a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, 
by the way of knockouts. Your winner, the hands of stone. Roberto Duran's your winner by knockout. Now, I think he was headed towards a decision win anyways, but what a good way to just put a stamp on his evening. Yeah, bring down the curtain and make sure that more people are going to be talking about you when they leave the arena tonight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.